now to speak with a representative uh, from California, and that is Mark Ticano. Uh, he is the vice chair of the Congressional Asian Pacific American Caucus, and his district is next to Monterey Park. We're so happy to have you this morning to help us get through this very tragic situation, Representative. Thank you so much. Have you learned anything new overnight about the investigation or the suspect? Uh, no, Don. As you know, the investigation is ongoing. I don't have any further information to uh, convey to you about that. Okay, and, and nothing about a motive, because that is what every, this is so perplexing, uh, nothing about a motive or the suspect's history, Representative. No, uh, you know, Hemet is not in my district, but it's closer to where I represent in Riverside County. Um, my district is not adjacent uh, to Congresswoman Shoes, but, you know, I want to emphasize that I've been to Monterey Park and the surrounding communities a number of times. It's a vibrant, uh, they're vibrant communities, Asian American communities. This is just a tragedy of, of just incomprehensible proportions. And I just, my heart goes out to all the people of Monterey Park. And, uh, and of course, I'm thinking of my colleague Judy Chu at this moment. If you can explain to our viewers um, just what a celebration like this is like in this area, having so many members of the AAPI community and beyond gather, hundreds of thousands of people were supposed to be here. Well, Lunar New Year and New Year, the idea of New Year's in general in, in Asian communities is really very, very important. You know, shop owners um, and people uh, will prepare for the New Year uh, by cleaning their homes and uh, straightening their books out, uh, just to the idea of cleaning, uh, cleaning out the old and preparing for the new. Um, special foods and cakes and, uh, are prepared and there are festivals and uh, it, it's just a very joyous time of year uh, for families to get together uh, and to have a tragedy such as this happen on the eve of the Lunar New Year uh, it is just uh, it's just incredibly sad and tragic. As the vice chairman of the Congressional Asian Pacific American Caucus, I just want to talk to you about the violence that has been committed against uh, Asian <clears throat> Americans. The LA Times is reporting that violence against the AAPI community increased 177% in California alone. Monterey Park is about 65% Asian American. Can the community ever feel safe? Will there ever be a sense of safety here soon in the near future? Well, I just want to emphasize to the community that uh, thanks to the good work of uh, Sheriff, LA County Sheriff Luna uh, and, his, and, the, and his deputies, uh, the suspect was identified very quickly. Uh, we know that the suspect took his own life. So the community can feel safe from, uh, from that threat. Um, they can also go to the Langley uh, senior citizen center, those who uh, maybe have been touched by this violence, it's been set up as a hub. But I want to emphasize one more thing, Don, is that uh, as the former chairman and current ranking member of the Veterans Affairs Committee, uh, I'm very familiar with PTSD. And uh, it's my responsibility to ensure that veterans and service members who've been exposed to horribly violent uh, experiences uh, get the help they need to, uh, you know, heal the unseen wounds, the invisible wounds, as well as uh, whatever physical wounds they have. Uh, this is, I think, the, uh, the issue that we need to pay attention to for this community uh, and all communities. It's, uh, you know, just last year there were over 600 instances of gun violence, um, and gun violence being, determined, uh, being uh, defined as uh, incidents with four or more people killed or injured in a, in a, in a shooting. Um, we've already got 33 of these incidents this year. Um, I'm thinking about literally the thousands of people who are touched by uh, these moments of gun violence, uh, the physical wounds they have to recover from, but also the invisible wounds. And they're not unlike uh, what our veterans um, face. I mean, the 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 the, the long-term support that we're need to we're we're going to need to provide them. Yeah, and we're only three weeks into the year with 33 such incidents so far. Congressman Mark Takano, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you.